I am demonstrating how to pull together a fairly nice GeoGebra demonstration. I'm going to start by creating a title. I'll go to this menu item and select Insert Text. Decide where I want it by clicking and type the text. I'm going to pause the frame to save time. Okay, I finished typing that and you should know that from experience I found that I need to press Enter past the last word over here otherwise it runs it off the screen. There it's saved. You can go up and make changes to it by right clicking and making the text bigger if I wish or bold and I can change the color if I'd like. There it is. I'm also going to insert my name over here so we know whose file it is. Click OK. Now my goal is to look at the length of tangent segments so I'll need a circle. I'll go circle center through point, click for the center, click for another point, and now I need to create the tangent segments. To do that, you can go down here and tangents. Click there and click a circle. There I've created them. What I, what I really want to know is the distance from here to the tangent point, right here, point of tangency, and there to there, and that point is not located yet, so I can use this menu item intersect two objects, click on the two objects and it creates the center point there. There I go. Now, I'm going to create segments because really that's all I'm interested in is the length of this segment. So I'll click segment tool, C to D, and C to E. And those are now created and I can go to these lines now if I right click and click show item. I don't want to delete them. I simply want to hide them. So right click and show object. Now they're hidden. I've got a bunch of labels here that I don't want for C, D, and E. And so I think I'll simply go over here and right click and show label. Delete that. D, same thing. And E, same thing. Now those distracting labels are gone. But I can grab the relevant points. Any blue point here if I click the select button. I can move them around and show that those points are tangent. Okay. Well, what I'm really interested in is showing are these two actually equal in length? They look like it, but are they? Well, one way to find out is look over here in the measurements and you can see that they're equal length. But I want the demonstration to actually show it so in case I decide to hide the algebra view so it looks nicer, I can still see that they are equal in length. I'm going to bring that algebra view back I might need it later. So what I'm going to do is uh, actually show the lengths on the screen here and I can do that by right clicking either on there or over here and go to object properties under basic and show value and same thing with E show value close that and you can see that they're shown in equal to be like there and I think I will change the options on rounding down to one decimal place so it looks a little cleaner okay. and there I have them well I've gotten a pretty good demonstration here but when a person opens it up they all they see is the answer right away I'd like them to think about it first so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to get rid of the uh, show value option on each of those and I'm going to create new segments that go over the top of these but they only appear when I tell them to so I'll create a segment C to D again and C to E they appeared over here and I'm going to get rid of the label and I'm also going to change their size and color make them size 5 nice and fat should have stayed on that the color and let's make them red by the way if I hold the shift key down over here and click G now they're both selected I can make them both that color. I can make 
both of them the same length. You can see them changing over here. I'm going to go over here to decoration and indicate that they are indeed congruent. So if I close all that, oh, there they are. Very nice. I can see that they're congruent. And I think I'd also like to have the label, the, the uh, value pop up. So I'm going to click on that again, show object, select both of them, and show value. There they are. Now, what I want to do is have these show up only when I want them to. So I'll come up here to this menu item and check box to show or hide objects. Click on that, go down to where I want that checkbox, and I'm going to type in click to show answer. Yeah, why not? Answer. And I need to select the things I want to pop up, and that would be down here on segment F and segment G, and apply that. Now, if I click this, they disappear. There they are. Now you can answer the question. If you wish, you can also add some text down here. It would be something like, they are congruent. And exclamation mark if you're really happy about it. Okay. Click on that. And then when I go to this object's properties, I can't find it. All right, I guess I don't know how to add that to the list of things. So I will uh, delete that value. It's called Boolean value. I'll delete that and I'll simply do it again. It's kind of embarrassing to have this out on the World Wide Web and everybody sees my mistake, but my stuff. Click to show answer. Click both segments. And that was text three. There you go. If I click them, I show the answer. If I don't, it doesn't show. So now I have created what would be called a four point response. Sorry, eight point response in Mr. Nakedam's class for a demonstration. It has a title, it has my name, it has the objects built correctly, and it shows the answer only when you click the button. Now I'm going to save it on the desktop. I'll call it uh, Tangent Segments Demonstration name, because I'm supposed to have my name in the file name, click save. Now we're done.